All right, third man in the cage is LC3. Trey Rhodes taking on the emerging Viking plate doctor, Dakota Levin. He's got those long in the short. Those shorts, those shorts look like some Jinko in the May jeans. That's the 90s, right? There. Oh, good Lord! He hit him with the... That was the attitude adjustment. That was the John Cena attitude adjustment. You know, Dakota Leatherman was up was up against a guy in his last fight. Who He's going to pick him up again. Dumps him. The, Dakota Leatherman was in his last fight up against a guy who tapped to a half Nelson. So <laughs> I, I doubt... I doubt, uh, you know, we'll be seeing the same thing from Trey Rhodes, who comes to no. one of the best grappling games in the state, if not on the East Coast. I don't, I don't know. You don't know what Dakota's half Nelson feels like. I mean, it might be dead. He yeah. did, like, put his shoulder behind his head. I was like, oh, I'll probably tap you. Yeah. Man, what a high amplitude slam. That was like a Dan Henderson yeah. type of slam. And, it's, and DC, DC used to Daniel hit the same, yeah. Yeah. Hit the same high crotch turnover. I think you call it a, a, like a high crotch toss or a high crotch turnover. If I'm he mistaken. turned him all the way upside down. And he's on chopping block too. That that underhook or behind the head with the um, with the arm isolated like that. Or we call that chopping block in the Tenth Planet system. Uh, it's it's deadly. Once you get one arm up, you just start punching the other arm. They can't use that arm to block on the other side. Oh, little short strikes, mean strikes. He's turning his face, making it difficult for the plague doctor. It's all Trey Rhodes right now. Yeah. And he's in a high mount that's that's turning the corner, so he's pinning that arm. He's got that forearm pin. And he's hitting short strikes instead of instead of giving up the position so to rock bombs. Punches, yeah. Scoring. Just scoring. I mean, yeah. look how he's he got here so early in the round and he's just cruising now. I mean, mount is one of those things that so many people just use it as a way to get to the back. Obviously, the reason why his opponent is squeezing so much is because he doesn't want to get him to the back. But look what he's giving up. He's giving up this, like, gift wrap. Oh, and ride right no. Here. That I is mean, filthy. Trey Rhodes is just all this over This is it. a filthy position. This is, this is like a big brother position. And, and Trey's not in a, a hurry to get a submission that will make him give up top position, which is what I love. I love when a guy just sits here and brings the pain and suffering. And look how his knees are off the ground. Look at this position. Right. His pelvis is is in the diaphragm of his opponent right now. That every time, it's like a balloon that's full of air. Every time air gets okay. let out, it will not get let back in. And now here's the arm triangle. This is how Trey finished one of his last fights at Fight For It. Is he gonna this go for it? This is definitely gonna be over, but he's he's gonna not abandon top position. He's gonna make sure that they oh. sunk all the way he's in. Gonna, yeah, see how, he's, see how he kept it? Very smart grappling. So many guys would have Got, gone all in. All in on that. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, slide the chips across the table. And gave up a great I mean, think position. about how many guys go all in on submissions from the bottom. This guy's in a dominant top position. He just wants to keep it. This is smart MMA. This is how it's done. This is why CCS is the number one gym result for result in the entire state. Oh, it's there. because they can continue to produce result after result after result like this one. We take the guy to the fence. We beat him up. We kill him in the grappling. Oh, and then we submit him. But somehow... Somehow, the leather man survives until the end of the round. That was about as in as it gets. Ten more seconds, it's done. He was completely stretched out, picked up off the ground. And that's a 10-8 round. If mount. I've ever seen a 10-8 round, that's a 10-8 round. Those short shots, bit, 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 so smart to not do anything to give up his position. You know, you grappling, you little grabby boys are always saying position before submission. It gets lip service, but rarely do we see it put into play in MMA. That's what it, it matters more in MMA than it does in Jiu Jitsu, in my opinion. Yeah, because the consequences for losing your position on that is bad. In, in this, he, he almost got off on that head and arm choke, but decided, no, 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 it's not quite perfect. Let me keep this good position. And then continue to land those little short shots, making the plague doctor's life miserable in the process. Trey Rhodes breathing heavy and blinking though. Hope he didn't use too much energy. Maybe it's all part of Dakota Leatherman's plan. Get you good and tired. Oh, crap. Faded. Faded the takedown and cracked him with a left uppercut. Oh, left beautiful. Straight. Left straight the cross and immediately down. And there's that outside trip. And now he's sitting on the leg in half guard. And I, I, you see that um, he's got Leatherman's trying to lock down. Yeah, he's, he's using both legs to try to create the lockdown, but he's not doing it correctly because you have to get under the other foot. Yeah. Yeah, he needs his, uh, correct me if I'm mistaken, he needs his left foot underneath the left foot of Trey Rhodes. 
Look for Trey Rhodes. I bet he's going to tie his arms up again and just keep hitting him. He's in no rush. Look at these little tiny adjustments, inch by inch, creeping up, creeping up, creeping up, getting his arms in place, getting his frames in place, turning the head and neck of Dakota Leatherman and hitting him with short hammer fist right on the ear, cheek, nose, and eye. And Dakota Leatherman gives up his back again. Now, with a minute 55 left in the round, he's gonna get flattened out again. Yeah, this is just, this is just done data. And that's a really make it choke with over a minute and 40 seconds left. Now, is he just gonna go out for on principle? Oh yeah, the timekeeper actually did, he, he saw him, he saw him kind of like go out. Trey Rhodes with a vicious beat, a beat down, to, for, you know, for lack of a better word, a vicious beating, followed by crawling on top in the final round, or final seconds of the first round, and getting that rear naked choke that was locked in. He just recreates the same result. I mean, it was obvious his opponent was so cooked when that, when that second round started. Um, you know, he was saved by the bell. Unfortunately, in MMA, the only thing that you can be saved by the bell from is a submission. Trey Rhodes putting uh, Carolina combat, getting a, 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 getting him back in the win column. Masterful performance by Trey Rhodes, pretty dominant. Obviously, one-sided. Dakota Leatherman uh, managing to survive, but didn't really get too much offense going. Dakota Leatherman's bleeding pretty profusely. Yeah, I mean that, that, that last shot that went into the ground he like stuffed his face into the ground all right fighters to the center of the I've cage i've been there i've been there a guy circles around take your back and he just smashes your whole face into the cage. your winner oh. by referee stop it by rear naked choke it's fighting out of the red corner trey rose out of carolina combat and we want to wish brian battle good luck tonight right he fights tonight right absolutely good luck brian battle tonight the butcher fighting later on tonight his teammate in the UFC but for now the night belongs to Trey Rhodes winner by submission in one of the most dominant fights yeah I've seen against a good guy against a guy who's no joke yeah next up